the uh, women's light welterweight under 64 kilograms category against the Russian girl Ekaterina Dinik. Introducing our boxers in the light welterweight category. In the red corner, representing India, Ankushita Poro. The cheer has gotten louder. It's a roar out here at the Sarasujai Sports Complex. In walks Ankushita Boro as she will go for gold. Gifted with good height and athleticism, Boro has buckled in attack and defense. She is the synergy of all eyes here at the sports complex as she's been welcomed by a huge crowd to a rapturous welcome and those signboards certainly suggest one thing she is the pin-up girl, she is the poster girl can she get gold for India? and in the blue corner representing Russia Ekaterina Danik And coming out now is the powerful Russian Ekaterina Dynik, women's light welterweight category. Uh, Ekaterina Dynik, who will be looking to get Russia their third gold medal. She's got tattoos all over her arms. Uh, on her left arm, Ekaterina Dynik against. Yes, she beat uh, the, the Irish girl unanimously on points, while Ankushita had also got unanimous points decision against the Thai girl, Saksari. The referee, Maria Rizzardo from Italy, uh, all ten have been uh, women referees. In the red corner, representing India, Ankushita Paro! In the blue corner, representing Russia, Ekaterina Danik. Watch out for Ankushita's uh, flurry of punches while being equally adept with her guard. Sidestep and can weave out of trouble at lightning speed. 17-year-old Ankushita Boro in front of a home crowd. What a big moment for her. An inspirational story. And right now, she will be creating history. Round number one starts. She's been landing the punches first up. She's gone with the uppercut as well, as well as the side hook. Aggressive, lot of intent, good movement this time. Well, it's an all-action bout. The crowd on their feet. Ekatrana Dinak also coming, getting into the action. Uh, Ankushita has always said that her height has been her advantage and her nimble footwork. Uh, the girl from the Ulubari village at uh, near Tezpur in Assam, 200 kilometers from Guwahati, who took to boxing by chance. And the crowd are loving it because it's an all-action bout within the first minute. And after the slow bouts we had in the heavyweight categories, uh, this is having it as the crowd on their feet. Ekaterina crouching in, trying to penetrate Ankushita, trying to use a long reach to pick up points. Uh, the referee, uh, Maria Rizzardo, tells Ekaterina not to go in with a headbutt, but to get in and punch. Once again, clinching, moving aside with very quick-footed there, I must tell you, Ankushita Boro, very agile, very quick, good movement there, take a look at her leg movement, this time landing in the left jab, much to the delight of their coaches, as Rafael Barmaskas watches on. But a good defence, a good guard by Ekaterina, because Ankushita, despite getting in a flurry of blows, is not able to penetrate the defence, only hitting the forearm, the jabs are not connecting despite the vociferous support of the home crowd. This is a tough match to supervise also. A very high guard there by Katrina. She's understood the game of Boro. Just being a tad more defensive right now. Boro looking for the hooks on the left and the right. Little under one minute left in this bout. Relentless punching from both ends. Yes, the flurry of punches. 
Ekaterina, the stronger of the two, the referee tells them to box on. Uh, Ankushita Boro trying to use her reach to get points through jabs. But with the tattoo in her arms. This time a good jab going in, in favor of the Indian. Yes, but she's also attacking non-stop. Ekaterina is not, no quarter asked for, no quarter given. Referee warning her not to use her helmet, not to headbutt. Swinging jabs from far, Ankushita Boro. Once again, a left hook coming in from Boro's end. Much to the delight of the crowd sitting behind us as well. Another close range punch this time. Separated by the referee and warned, asking to stay away. Last 10 seconds into this round. Good right straight, good right straight there by Boro. Just in time at the stroke of the bell. Yes, Rafael will now try to give her instructions. Uh, the danger for Ankushita here is not to get carried away. She has to follow her plan. The crowd may be on their feet. No, we look at this crowd. They're anticipating an Ankushita Boro win. But let's take a look at the highlights as well. Brought in those jabs and those right and left punches. Right straight as well. Very good counter punching there. Yes, yeah, she's got quick silver feet. And as you rightly said, the poster girl. Wherever we go in Guwahati, when I went even outside Guwahati on our rest day at the game sanctuaries, there also there were always Ankushita Boro's posters. She's become extremely popular. The Chief Minister of Assam, a sports enthusiast, is watching her. If you have banners all over, she's really the pin-up girl of Assam now. They consider her the future Mary Com. And the, the entire system, the BFI, the Assam government needs to be applauded. So is Daiba, as we all set for round number two. Good uppercuts coming in there into the midriff region, this time on the face as well. It's a barrage of punches exchange and Boro slightly ahead at this point. Tentative jab there, but this one on target. Creditably, Ankushita's defense is holding well and she's moving away because Katrina is trying to finish her with powerful jabs. Another very good straight punch and look at their coach, Rafael Bergamascus. He knows. He's reading it well. Once again, close range punch has been exchanged. Ankushita Boro, high on energy, moving well. Hand movements are quick. Ekaterina, a little tentative, high on guard right now. And she's had a long wait because there was a slight stoppage. And it's the last bout of the day, which is justifiable. It's a full house. Maria Rizzardo saying, fight on. We've had one minute in round two. Ankushita with a right jab missing. Ekaterina yeah, left hook there. Yeah, coming in at her, constantly trying to close the gap and attack her. The croucher, the brawler, trying to attack the more classic boxer, Ankushita. Good temperament, Ankushita, and her ability to land a punch on ta a target. Very shy teenager, otherwise, but gets ferocious when she came to the ring. Again, she surprised her opponent with a spur of punches out there. Very good burst once again. Just catching her off guard. Ekaterina off target with her side hooks. Yes, and uh, like all the Indian boxers, she's got a big heart. Uh, doesn't give up. Ekaterina trying to bulldoze her way through. Uh, but the referee separating them. She's been sharing poster space with Mary Com over there. In the backdrop, you can see that poster. She is the future of Indian boxing and she's justifying it in the middle today. What a brave fight Ankushita Anc Boro putting up against Russia's Ekaterina Dynik. A little under 40 seconds now left on the clock. Yes, our local coaches should also get credit. They spotted her potential when she was a teenager. And they really trained her in the sports centers and Golagat. The Assam government doing good work. Last 30 seconds in round two. And Ekaterina also coming in with some fierce blows. Ekaterina getting to her, now getting her into a grappling hold, but the referee rightly separates them. Box on, keep your distance. It's a tough, it's a tough battle. Once again, going for the side hooks. There you go. Relentless punching from both ends. The clinch has become a scramble. Rafael is upbeat. Rafael is back on his toes. As we go into round number three in a few seconds from now.
but this has been some great intent and purpose shown by Ankushita Boro. She's not fighting alone. She has an entire stadium right behind her. Uh, yes, as you can see, Ankushita Boro is quick silver, a lightning quick uh, footwork, has very, very good hands and uh, doesn't mind trading punch for punch. She's just not retreating. You know, she's very different from, say, like uh, Sakshi Chopra fighting. Uh, she's willing to trade blow for blow. She's uh, Shashi Chopra fighting. She doesn't keep retreating. But Rafael has to tell her to calm down because this third round is going to be very decisive. The Indian flag has been flying high. And once again, Ankushita is doing every bit that she can to make India proud. Look at that energy. Look at that intensity. She's all charged up as uh, Ekaterina comes forward with her jabs. There goes Ankushita Boro. Once again, a close clinch, close range punching. Bhaskar Dutt from the red corner, shouting and yelling and trying to advise her. Once again, those jabs coming in by Ankushita. Yes, she's a student, a uh, student of Dakshin Junior College in Guwahati. And she's encouraged what Marycom did in Manipur, Ankushita is doing in Assam. Her own sisters boxing, other people from her tribe, the Boro tribe. Girls from Assam are taking to boxing. And if she wins, becomes a world champion. It oh, what a lovely world. right straight going in. That is Ankushita Boro at her best. As once again, they get into that clinch. Look at that energy shown by both the boxers. They are not tiring, untiring efforts at the moment. Yes, great effort even by the Russian girl, Ekaterina Dainik. As Ankushita keeping a low guard, looking for a left jab, taking advantage of her height. Jabbing, not being able to connect. Over here we have 1 minute 50 seconds left of round 3. The first minute is over. Neither boxer has been able to dominate this bout. It's going to be close, decided by the five judges. Ekaterina moving in. Looking for that uppercut again off target. She's she's defended well, she's moved well, she's avoided the punches well. It's not just her offense, it's not just the punches for Boro, it's the way she's moved on the court as well, Novi. Yes, the ring craft is good, she's moving very well. She's really twinkle feet on the ring, and above that, knows when to come into attack, and has got, as I said, a very big heart, keeping her distance because she knows Ekaterina is the more the powerful good side fighter. Of coming from Ekaterina's end as well. Ekaterina. One minute on the clock, Novi, yeah, she's decisive. The most powerful fighter. So, Ankushita has to keep her distance also. It's no point, you know, going gung for glory and, uh, you know, trying to fight her way in. This is about, it's not a fight. Just a reminder to all our viewers, they're only 17 years of age, these boxers, and they've put up one of some of the bravest fights in the IBA. Yes, Women's Ankush Youth World Championship. Ankushita was born on 6th October 2000. A uh, silver medalist in the two tournaments, international tournaments this year. This would be the icing on the cake, a gold medal. That was a good straight punch coming on Ankushita. This time Ekaterina with the advantage. Once again looking for that left hook. Tiring in the end, just going to the corner, clinching, separated by the referee. 10 seconds, Novi. The defining moments coming up in some time from now. Yes, defining moments. And it will be the ref judges who will take a decision. The final assault there from both ends. Ankushita relentless, not giving up. Do they know it? Do they know it? They are already celebrating. Yes, they think that she has done enough to get the referee's verdict on points. Rafael's indication, Rafael's reaction is very important because he has a good measure of the bout. And the moment Ankushita Boro came back to her red corner, she was given a big, huge hug. Will we see goal number five for India? The announcement coming in a few seconds from now. That girl, 17-year-old girl, Ankushita Boro, from a very small town in Tezpur called Telmara. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner with points by a split decision in the red corner, representing India. What a moment this. Tears of joy. She struggled. She sacrificed. There was sweat in her journey. And today she clinches 
her biggest moment of her life and her career.